do not leave large structures on the beach. Last video we posted got more hype and more support than we ever could have imagined. Building Squidward was a 23 day long process but it was all worth it. All your amazing supportive comments have been so inspiring and have motivated us so much to continue this series and to go as hard as ever. So today, as highly requested by you guys, we will be spending 24 hours inside Squidward's house without leaving. Which is gonna be a piece of cake, have you seen that thing? It has air conditioning and a playstation. Uh, this is hardly gonna be a challenge. Uh, anyway, we will be spending 24 hours while also making the inside as awesome as possible. By the end, it will be a masterpiece. While reading the comments, we've seen a lot of this. And we hear you, so we will be building Spongebob's house next to complete the neighborhood and to recreate all of Bikini Bottom. But the real question is, what should we build after Spongebob's? The Chum Bucket? The Krusty Krab? Sandy's Dome? That's up to you guys. If you guys are stoked for this series, support the dream and smack that like button. It is really all we ever ask. Help us take over the internet, help us go viral, and pay the rent. Like our videos. Last video flew well over 200,000 likes. Thank you all so much. If you want to get notifications on our videos as well, hit that bell, and we will get right into the challenge. So, we built... Squidward's house. Uploaded that video yesterday. One day later, we get a notice from the city saying we can't keep Patrick's house out there any longer and we can't leave any structure on the beach overnight. So this is a problem because now we can't bring Squidward's out on the beach unless we bring him out there just during the day. And if you saw Squidward's, you saw that that thing is massive. If we don't take Patrick's off the beach now, we're gonna get a fine every single night it's left out there. I think of like 250 bucks or something. You know, I don't believe in coincidences. We got this notice one day after the Squidward video went up because they're like, oh hell no, the rock is one thing, but a 14 foot tall Squidward? That would be way too much fun. We definitely can't let them put that on the beach. <laughs> it took them three weeks to come up with, dear property owner, it has recently come to our attention that the property described above is in violation of chapter 47, section 47 to 65 of the beach city code the specific violation verified by an inspection leave canopy unattended on beach between hours of 10 p.m 14 19 we left a canopy on the beach canopy is the word that they came up with so it has to go today or we're gonna have to pay them money so patrick you're getting evicted it's weird because last time i was holding a sign and walking out on the beach with a cameraman behind me it's when we kicked everyone off the beach for the prank in the state of florida video you can all stay this time don't worry dude people really mess this thing up so this was sitting like so and then we have this notice do not leave large structures on the beach between 10 p.m and 6 a.m patrick you didn't pay rent bud been here for three weeks not a dollar so you gotta go i'm sorry Dude, we're gonna take you to the warehouse. It's gonna be sick. You're gonna be hyped on it. Don't cry. Patrick, dude, come on. All right, so as soon as Merrick and Edwin get here, we'll make Patrick leave and then uh, take him to the warehouse, his new home. But you know what? We bring tourism. Clearwater Beach is the number one beach in the United States two years in a row. We do everyone a favor. Save the oceans, provide content to the internet, send people to one of the most beautiful beaches on the planet before it was cool. We get a ticket. We don't even have to strap it, dude. The weight will hold it. It's a rock. It weighs like 7,000 pounds. It's not going anywhere. It's 
In today's video, we will be spending 24 hours in Squidward's house. Oh, we're gonna detail the inside. We're gonna come up with ideas. We're gonna read your guys' comments from the last video. And this is pretty much gonna be the easiest 24 hour challenge of all time. We got Edwin here. We got John and Merrick inside. We're gonna have some other friends stop by, possibly some ladies. <laughs> I've never had a Krabby Patty in my life. Cut scene to where we get inside at the proper time. Nine oh five a.m. So as you can see, we got some bench seats, one side and the other. The only thing that we don't have attached yet is the table that's gonna fold up and down. You know, we gotta paint everything too, but we weren't gonna paint these right before we got in, because then we'd be inhaling paint fumes the entire time, and that just seems silly. So this will be an ongoing project. We're gonna keep making this thing doper and doper. We have a couple of their shelves that we're gonna screw in. We just figured if we're gonna be in here for 24 hours, we might as well do some work instead of doing it before. You know, the steps put in, which we will paint at some point. Show you the upstairs real quick. Man. Hey, dude. How's that shelf, right? It's way better than the shelf Merrick made. Oh. Look at this, <laughs> dude, dude. It's all, what, everything's gonna slide off because it's at an angle. What Look at that. It? What is it at an angle? Because he's Merrick, dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we got the LED lights wrapped around the TV. That's fire. We got three of us in here right now, and like, it's not crammed at all. It's nice and cool. Yeah. And we it doesn't shake. Nowhere. It's Dude, like the AC weird. in here is so nice. Right? Like look at this. We ran the AC from the bottom to the top and it just sprays cold air. You know what's funny? All that over AC us. funnel kind of reminds me of SpongeBob's alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> We're really going through some trial and error on this thing right now. I think uh, we need to extend that bench all the way to there because you could you could sleep there. Look and put your feet up too. Dude, if we put that right there, like that's a bed. Maybe yeah, not the most know, comfortable bed, now. but. Yeah. Oh, so we're back in the downstairs now. We got a friend coming over who has not seen this place yet, so we're gonna get his reaction. Kevin! Welcome to Squidward's house, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> that is an AC look. Yo, this is legit. I didn't think it was gonna be this legit. Yo, this is too legit. <laughs> 120 a night on Airbnb? Doug, 500 an hour. <laughs> we have 24 hours to make this thing as sick as possible. I think we're gonna come up with a lot of ideas. Hey, one idea though, I think we really should do is a chandelier. Oh, why don't we have John? John, John. don't go, go get a chandelier right now. Chandelier. I don't care how much it costs. John, a chandelier right now. Oh, sh Dang, Edwin thought that it'd be a good idea to persuade John to spend way too much money on a chandelier, so we have like a seventy dollars chandelier in Squidward's house now. That dude, I, we could have gotten like a two hundred dollar one. This is this is check it out though. This That's thing is nice. Cheap. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, you know, we got the carpet in, we got some cup holders in. Merrick came back and built these for us, and uh, you know the boys are upstairs. So let's see how they're doing up there. You. Yo, buddies. Oh, What's going on? We got the DVD racks, we got the cup holders, we got the peep. We got the mood lights, we got the AC, we got the TV. We're still waiting for your fan art to come in. Yeah, and that's we're updating go. so we can watch Turner up there, right? Yeah, we're updating so we're going to download Twitch right now. I'm going to show something else downstairs really quick, dude. All right, show, hey, man. Check this out. Oh, oh, came out of nowhere. Oh, oh. So this here 30. is a fold out table that we got hooks onto the top right there. So you know, the bench seating is complete. We got a bunch of seats. We got, you know, pop that thing down again real quick. Now we can cater to our guests with a chandelier lit dinner with our homemade table. Welcome so this is, to our MTV Crib episode, baby. This is pretty much the dopest fort of all time. Like, yeah, could, could it get more sick, dude? Dude, we have so much seating. We're gonna be watching movies. Dude, we got we the fridge, have, dude. Oh we my got a gosh. Oven on the end. You're right. We might as well put microwave, like put a microwave up there, put a toaster oven up there. Perfect. You know? This is living the life. How are you guys doing up top? Because of the mood lighting in here, I think that this ceiling needs a disco ball. Yes. All right, I'm gonna make a call happen to get a disco ball since I stole one from Playlist Live. Thanks, Playlist, I appreciate it. Hey, I literally have to do homework, so it's kind of clutch that we just got the Starbucks the table now. table, yeah, right? Like this has been the biggest debate. If we were to rent out Squidward for a night, how much money would we rent him for? Comment down below. I said $69.99. All right, so this has become ridiculous. Hey, John, can you turn it up a little bit? Yeah. Cool. Appreciate it, bro. 
So you know, a little perspective change for you guys. So Dick came back from Krabby's. As that gets closer to shore, it will become stronger and stronger rain. So we're in for it! I'm saying we put a tarp on it. No, <laughs> we put a tarp no, on it. These guys are saying it. to test we it. We have no, to test tarp it. Oh. It's too You really want to test it? We have a delivery. Hold on. Oh, I see a disco ball. Hey, wait, we got food. Let's put the table down, too. Merrick, come on. We're, we're having dinner. Edward, come on. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Profile picture, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, open your mouth, Edward. Oh! oh. 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 Same noodle. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently enjoying some South Park while also eating our vast amount of food and enjoying the array of drinks we just have available here in our fully functional mini fridge. We got the cold brew on top, we got the bro, orange Edward, juice in the middle. You need to hype it up, dude. That is a little all right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, we got Arizona! We got it! Oh, we got oh, it! Oh, 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 my hair's all the wind! Oh, we got the oh, 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 on. Plus we got the lineup of movies. All of these movies are the greatest movies ever made. If you haven't seen all of them, you're kind of blowing it. Caddyshack, Space Jam, Back to the Future, Castaway, Warrior, Chappelle Show, Dude, Where's My Car, Dumb and Dumber, Ghostbusters, Revenge of the Nerds, Super Troopers, The Pursuit of Happiness, more Star Wars, Friday, forget, I mean, honestly, if you want to pause and check these out, you should. Because these are all some of the funniest movies of all time. There's a lot of classics in there too. Like we got the Andy Milanakis show. We got the Goonies. We got Goosebumps. I am Legend, Hot Rod, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Boys are killing it downstairs. We're killing it. What time is it? 10.40 p.m. We're on. The movie of choice. Blair Witch Project. Oh. We made it. Yo, Edwin. Edwin. Edwin! Edwin! Yo, what time is it? My phone's dead. I swear, it could be like 3 o'clock and neither of us has... It's so dark in here, I don't even know. Dude, you're telling me it's like a dungeon up here. 10 a.m. 10 a.m.? <laughs> we did it, dude! <laughs> Bro, I slept great up here. How'd you sleep down there? Honestly, dude, I got enough pillows and this... Dude, like, alright, so this rug they got is super thick. Thick! That rug's and, uh, thick. So I'd say, you know, because the challenge is over, I'm going to climb out of this place, but I'm going to remove everything, like all the trash, all the supplies. Who drew that? I don't remember. I Turner popped by last night and dropped his signature on the table. That's pretty fire, dude. You know, we were talking about this last night. Could you imagine having a playhouse like this as a kid? I couldn't. I would have had 10 girlfriends growing up if I had this. And uh, yeah, after this, I guess we're going for the $100 raft challenge in the ocean. Because that's what's next in line for us. Can we just keep filming ourselves, hanging out in this thing and having fun and that's just our thing now? <laughs> yeah, this was honestly by far the easiest, the most comfortable, and the best 24 hour challenge we've ever done. By far. It's air conditioned, we had a TV, we had beds, we had internet, we had a PlayStation, like, it was just easy. So thank you guys for allowing us to do that. Let's get out of here, bro. If we're in here for any longer, we're going to turn into Spongebob and Squidward. Well, I'm not sure if I properly got the time earlier because my phone was dead, but it is now noon and we are still 
getting work done on the house. I've had the camera time lapse going the entire time. One of the 100% needed installs is Squidward's nose. Uh, we hit our head on it almost every time we get out. Let's see if there's any Squidward drawing. Oh man, there's definitely some. We're gonna take this stuff back to Squidward and see what we got. Oh! Oh! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's legendary. Dude. Got a gun. Oh, he has a gun? Oh, he has a gun. Okay. Wow. Yo. Is that bold and brash? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dude. No what? way. We have the These most legendary. legendary. The best fans on the planet. You literally have changed my whole life, here's why. In middle school, I didn't really have friends because all of them moved to a different school or even state. So I was kind of lonely in the beginning years of middle school. But one night, I was dreaming of a free life, partying, pranking, and having fun. I was watching it on a school computer the next day during lunch. Someone named Joe came across it and said, hey, I saw that video too, it was really funny. I wish I could do something like that. And so a friendship and a dream came together to give me a little more company in my middle school years. Two past years, I was a freshman in high school. Me, Joe, and his brother Dan were the tightest a friendship can be. We started to hang out with each other a lot, and before I knew it, we were doing what you guys were doing, having fun. Sooner or later, we had a whole squad of seven. I never had such a fun summer. This was all because I watched your one rope video. You certainly got me friends in one hell of a summer. I've been watching your videos ever since, and so have my other friends. I'm also speaking out for all the other fans. You've influenced so many damn kids and made their lives better. I am just one of the people that have a story of how you changed our lives. I'm 17 now and I still will always watch your videos until you stop. Keep the inspiration coming. Dang dude, he's damn, been watching dude. our videos for like... I got the chills. Mike wants you to join the Juice Squad. He made his own Juice Squad shirts to rock and wear. That's awesome. That's really cool, you know. All we want to do is have fun. All we want to do is inspire you guys to have fun. You can live an amazing life as long as you have a good group of people that are all working together. You know, that's that's what it's about. And you guys send us some amazing drawings. <laughs> Yo, and I've gotten tagged in so many pictures on Instagram and on Twitter. It's awesome. These are only the pictures of kids that sent them out like the first day or the second day that the video was out. So I have a feeling we're going to get a ton more. For now, we're going to hang these babies up. <laughs> We got the DVDs, we got the shelves, we got the PlayStation, we got the TV, we got the disco ball, we got the six foot bean bag. I don't think the upstairs of Squidward it was even this dope in, in the show. Now all that's left, wait a couple days, wait for the rest of the fan mail and the fan art of Squidward to come in, hang it up all across this thing, and uh, we'll show you the inside with all the fan mail as soon as we finish SpongeBob's house. You know we're building SpongeBob's house. We gotta finish Bikini Bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tour. And we'll see you soon for SpongeBob's house. Peace.